Good afternoon. This is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. We're at 5767 Northwest 137th Avenue here in Portland. Located at the uh, front left corner of the garage, or just outside of it, going into a 4 inch ABS cleanup. We are doing a rescope here today, post repair. Got a bunch of bellies in the line. And we are zeroed out. Water is running. We'll drain the line out at the very end here once we get all the way to the end. All right, swapping over here to 4 inch 3034 PVC pipe. Thus far, the line's looking good. All right, just went through a little bit of standing water there. Uh, we'll check that out on the way out. That looks like it's probably going to drain off to a fairly minimal amount there. I would never go and beat up an installer for a three-foot belly with a you know 16th quarter inch of standing water. Bellies that tiny have absolutely zero bearing on functionality. And this is, I mean, obviously this is one that has been re-repaired. You know, in an ideal world, you 100% redo the sewer line to chase that grade back as far as you can, which is kind of an unrealistic thing. So it may not look 100% perfect, but that, that level of standing water we've gone through there has no bearing on functionality at all. We'll take a, we'll get a nicer look at that here in a second when the line drains out. All right, line is all drained out here at this point. We're gonna start reeling the camera back in. So you can see super minor amount of standing water there in the floor. You, you can't even really see it unless I move my camera to ripple the water. That's about a 30 second of an inch, possibly even less than that. You know, for instance, if this were, if this house were two, three, four years old, I would not even be talking about that. It's so minor. The average person probably hardly even sees what I'm talking about there. So the only thing you'll ever get that consistently hangs up in standing water like that is if you're dumping just tons of cooking oil down the line, dumping your deep fat fryers down there, and that's going to build up grease anywhere else in the sewer line too, but it'll concentrate more so in those locations. Otherwise, an area like that, not that you should put things like paper towels down your pipe, but a paper towel, an improper item like that, would travel through that area just as easily as it would where the, where the grade is actually absolutely perfect. It's just that minor. Yeah, no, this this was a that was a pretty nice re-repair. This is not an easy one to do either, with the with the setup configuration that you have here. So what I will recommend, and I, I highly doubt you're going to see any changes. Um, whoever did this looks like they knew what they were doing. Every now and then I will catch. Um, anytime a line has just recently been installed, there is a chance it could still be in a state of settling. Typically, that's not the case. Most settling happens immediately after a line is buried, and generally it's not a progressive situation unless there's bad pipe joints, things that are allowing water to escape the line and or enter into it, leading to hydro erosion. Um, but I, I, I think it's worth it on a, on a line like this. It's an expensive, tricky line to deal with. 
rescoping about nine months into the one year warranty just to make sure that nothing progressed or changes. I don't think that's going to happen, but I think it's a good, good insurance to do that. We have good flow all the way out to the main lateral connection. All the ABS and PVC pipe here, all of it is intact, has great flow. Sewer line is functioning properly at this time.